Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Today we are going to discuss another ETL interesting question. Okay, another ETL interview question. So till now we have discussed multiple questions. Okay, but today we are going to discuss one important and interview question. I think this is not widely asked, but still this question is like you know. So this is interesting. So the question is write a SQL query to find rows that occurs exactly once, which means, for example, if you see the data input data here, employee number e name. Okay, first row. Okay, number one SRT, number two Ram, number three Raghu, and number three again Raghu, number two Ram. Which means two and two is twice. It is happening. Three three is happening twice. And what about one? One is happening once. And here you can see Ramesh and Raj. Okay, when it comes to this data, the output which we are expecting is that exactly present only once. That exactly present only once. This is the output which we are expecting. How can we do this? How can we do this? How we can write it the SQL query? How we can write the SQL query? Let's understand this. Okay. So if you wanted to count something, okay, what function we are going to use? We are going to use the count. Okay. We are going to use the count. Let's understand this. Simply what we are going to do, just we'll go ahead and we'll create the table. Here I have already created and this whatever the SQL script, right, which I'm writing in GitHub, I'm going ahead and I'm going to give it to you. Okay. So Usually, if I can go ahead and do this, okay, just simply what I'm doing, I'm going ahead and querying this data, okay. Now, what I want, what I want, let's understand, I want employee number as well as name, okay, employee number as well as name. So, this case, okay, this case, what is happening? Can we write it up instead of writing, instead of writing with the aggregation function, can we write it up in a different way? How we can write it up? How we can write it up just we'll go ahead and we'll write it up now i have already created a table that particular script i'm going to paste it in the description box okay just go ahead and copy that for your practice purpose let's write it up this way now if i can go ahead and write it up this way select star from select star from select emp number okay and count of star count of star from sample data sample data then group by group by employee number employee number now i can go ahead and i can get it like this what i'm getting here you can see okay employee number one twice okay employee number two is twice okay employee number three you can see twice okay remaining are once now if i wanted to query having count of star count of star greater than one greater than one but i am going to get this data but i wanted to get only equals to one equals to one which means only occurs once can we see here one four five is the data now if i can add it up here if i can add it up here E name, okay. E name. I can get it simply, okay. I can get it in a simple way, okay. Can we see here? Can we see here? But we can write it up in different way as well. Different way as well. Same operation. If you wanted to write it up here, only two columns which we have taken. If I want, if I have hundred columns. If I have a hundred columns out of it only, I'm taking the combination of two two columns. Then I can go ahead and I can use the analytical function. Nothing but a, along with that uh, windowing, I'm going to use the I'm going to use the I'm going to use the count function. Just select okay, employee number, employee number, e name okay. Then after that, count of count of star okay count of star over okay when i say over what basis you are doing over then you are doing partition by partition by employee number as well as you are doing the you are doing the e name as well order by 
order by what order by any name we can keep order by we can keep it the employee number okay ascending order will be it instead of order by this one we can go with the employee name okay then as okay as count count details okay from from table which table sample data table then <coughs> then then what you can do simple how we have written for rank right similar fashion you can query it okay now you want exactly one time which is present then what is the alias column name count details count details equal to equal to one which means it is going to give you the exactly once what is occurring what is occurring somewhere i have missed the syntax okay not column name i have missed that is the reason it is giving incorrectly now can we see here can we see here raj now if i wanted to find which is having why sucker okay why sucker then we can go ahead and we can do this we can do this can you see the data this is what we are expecting suppose when it comes to this case okay this case okay if i have additional column for example salary okay but salary is different again here and here then it is not going to give you what we are expecting what we are expecting okay that is the reason i am saying okay just go ahead and go ahead and use this below of below below analytical function below analytical function which is going to give you in a proper way even if you want us to select 100 columns here 100 columns it is going to select it is going to select it is not going to give you any difference any difference are you getting me guys thank you so much thanks for listening to me thanks for listening to me and thanks for supporting me by like by liking and commenting the section thank you so much guys